world is urbanizing. In the next few years, more than half the world population will be living in cities. Many of these cities are typical delta metropoles, usurping the space most suited for agricultural production. China is a case in point. Just look at its population densities. It shows that their cities are expanding in precisely these areas most suited for agriculture. The national government, as well as the city of Shanghai, in realizing this threat, initiated an imaginative and ambitious plan. The new China, as well as the new Shanghai, is always reaching for the top. When looking for state-of-the-art international experts who could meet their ambition, they found exactly those entrepreneurs and scientists who are far advanced and experienced with the design of metropolitan agriculture. They found them in Holland, in the northwest European Delta Metropolis. And so, on the basis of Dutch knowledge and experience, a master plan was created. A master plan for a new kind of agropark that offers high profits for the entrepreneur, offers high quality product to consumers, and fully respects the environment. The plan consists of different layers, from ecological design to water infrastructure, and from waste management to transportation. The basic principle is a circular economy in which the rest and byproducts of one unit are converted to be used as the input of another one. Upon this basic structure, a number of different scenarios have been conceived and calculated. Because at the end of the day, it is not the planners, but the participating entrepreneurs who will decide its final outlay. The choice is theirs, and so it should be. We will use one of these scenarios to give you an impression of how the agropark might turn out to be. The plan is not only aimed at people who will be living and working in the park, but also at the many visitors who are expected. Production, recreation and education go hand in hand. At the entrance of the park, the globe illustrates the thinking and ideas behind sustainable development and circular economy. We are proud of the way in which food is going to be produced in Greenport, Shanghai, so we are eager to show it to everyone. Here we take the SkyTrain to be immersed in the main functions of the agropark. Demonstration of modern agriculture, trade of agricultural products and their production and processing. Along the central axis we travel. Pipelines, transparent and visible, transporting heat, cold and other flows needed for the circular economy. Solar cell roofing along the main axis provides sustainable power. The main canal will function efficiently for the transport of goods. But with its wide borders of green ecological zones, it is quite ready for pastoral forms of recreation. Towards the Greenport Dongtan demonstration center we saw, situated in a landscape park rich with water, cleaned by helophytes. It is the place for research and education empirically teaching the challenges and opportunities of metropolitan agriculture and being the showcase of Greenport Shanghai's production for the outside world. The trade park and the business center will be one of Shanghai's future nodes for fresh products. By integrating producing, processing and trade, Greenport Shanghai offers food safety and quality control in the whole chain. There are auction halls, large storage spaces and warehouses. It is the place where business people meet to make their deals. And excellent business will be done in our agropark. Greenport Shanghai will be the brand standing for high quality food. Across the high-tech glass houses we go. These are closed systems with biological pest control. They not only produce sublime vegetables and flowers, but act as sun collectors delivering energy. Soaring over food processing plants situated in a quiet, pleasant park, you can still see the infrastructural elements of the park 
the solar cell system roofing, the pipelines of its circular economy. It is a high-tech and ecological landscape. We see the central processing unit on the horizon, where the integrated systems leading to circular economy are being managed. The central processing unit embodies the metabolism of the park. It is the heart, the liver, and the kidneys of the agropark. The central processing unit applies the principles of industrial ecology and cradle to cradle. It provides the agropark zero emission of waste and independency of fossil fuel. Because of the CPU, Greenport Shanghai does not use energy, it produces energy. This is the floating pagoda, covered with solar cells and situated on the central plaza. It is the central space for the up to 25,000 people who will be living and working in the park. It offers the facilities and leisure areas for its residential community. Westwards, along the main canal, we go to the livestock production units. The multi-storied pig stables with grass roofs offer animal comfort for optimal animal welfare and optimal growth. The chicken stables with integrated processing. Close livestock systems with maximal hygiene and minimal transport to prevent contamination with animal diseases. Dairy farms offer copious space for cow comfort in high-tech stables with 700 cows per unit. Back at the entrance point, where the globe shows the sustainability status of China and the world, we end this trip. The station where in 2010, the world's citizens will start and end their visit of the first totally circular agropark, Green Port Shanghai. This is how China, in cooperation with Dutch entrepreneurs and experts, is taking the lead in 21st century innovative metropolitan agriculture by creating a circular economy.